New event week in Red Dead Online, The Wolfman. Not to be confused with my PS4 character, Wolfus. Last seen near Lake Isabella. New legendary bounty, uh, plus new clothing shipments, free aim series, and more. So this week's legendary bounty is all the way up in Lake Isabella, The Wolfman. So definitely going to be trying this out, hopefully tomorrow. Red and GB Legendary Bounty Hunters will be at it again. And, uh, because last week's video was fun, we went after Bob Rella a few times. So we'll probably do that again for Wednesday. Hopefully. We're going after the Wolf Man. I wish I had his power over wolves, though, but alas, I do not. Apparently a tip is to, uh, have some predator bait. I do a lot of looting, so I probably got plenty of predator bait. I guess it's a way to distract the wolves in order to get, uh, the Wolf Man. All right, so he must be turned in alive to receive your reward. Okay, so I guess this one is not an option. You have to bring him in alive. You can't bring him in dead. So when taking on the Wolfman, four or five star difficulty level, he must be turned in alive. Okay, so three, uh, one to three star levels, uh, I guess it's dead or alive. But in order to succeed at uh, four and five star level difficulty, the Wolfman has to be brought in alive. Just bear that in mind. Okay, along with doing the Wolfman bounty, licensed bounty hunters that complete the Wolfman legendary bounty at any difficulty will be rewarded an exclusive red colorway of the fur-lined red Strayhorn boots. And I think those are some new boots that are in the game. We'll go over clothing in just a second. So it's an additional reward that you will get retrievable within 48 hours of completing the task and it can be found obviously in your wardrobe in the boot section there's also a c elimination uh, free aim so everyone that's enjoying the free aim series there's a new one for elimination so that's great i'm glad that they're adding more uh, free aim pvp i wish that they would also disable the ability cards during pvp and as i've mentioned a few times once or twice uh the ability to dis you know, disable weapons for horse racing, but maybe one day. New clothing. There is actually a lot of new clothing in the game, including quite a few hats. I'll real quickly go over the different hat designs. I think I got most of the screenshots. If I missed any, I apologize. But there are a few hats for those of you that have been looking for a new hat in the game. So we got the uh, Tribbly hat, the Horley hat, or Hurley hat, <laughs> not the Horley hat, the Hurley hat. The Ledbetter hat, of all them lovely feathers. The Bartley cap. And we also have a brand new variation of the poncho. The Fuentes poncho. Kind of pricey, actually. And we have a new vest. The Killaman vest, which eh, looks alright. And there's also the Holman pants. And then some other items include the uh, Chafton, almost shirts. Let's see... See, Horta, Winford, uh, Shirtwaist. I think they're just giving advice for things that you can you can mix and match clothing-wise. Clothing tips and tricks. But as you can tell in the newswire, there's quite a few clothing items. Feel free to check it out in below in the description section. So, yeah, quite a few clothing items to choose from. Lots of new hats in the store. None of them said uh, limited stock. So, I guess they're in the uh, clothing store for good. One thing I wish that there was is like an image, like a insignia that would let you know that it's new, because we have a limited stock one. We have a you know more options, but we don't have like new. And for the new clothing, I wish you would just have something to say new. That way, you automatically could look through the catalog and be like, hey, that's a new item. But anyways, so you stay tuned for more news on clothing shipments, legendary bounty targets, new free roam events, and more in the coming weeks. So that's pretty much it for the Newswire this week. A lot of new clothing items for you to go look at at the clothing store. A new Elimination Series free aim. The ability to get yourself as a legendary bounty hunter a free item. Red Strayhorn boots. If you complete the uh, Wolfman legendary bounty at any difficulty. So I think most of you are going to get that because the legendary bounties are actually kind of fun. And speaking of the legendary bounty... There's a new one every week for, what, 10 weeks total? This is the second week. This week, the Wolfman comes to Lake Isabella. Your opportunity to catch him 
bring him in for some nice XP and money. That's happening this week. The Wolfman comes to Red Dead Online. Instead of making two separate videos, I decided to combine the Event Week video with the title update patch notes 1.13. Both of those articles, by the way, linked below in the description section. As most of you know, I don't try to intentionally make more than one video a day. Sometimes it happens, but let's go over the patch notes real quick because there was a patch update to the game for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. General miscellaneous fixes fixed an issue that resulted in daily challenge streaks for setting incorrectly. A lot of us ended up having this problem, myself included, both on Xbox One and PS4. I have been doing the dailies every day for 100 and plus days and, you know, knocked me back down to only 20 nuggets of gold instead of half a bar of gold. And people are getting compensated, but I looked into it and Dr. Anarchy also looked into it on Twitter. And it seems like that if you want to get compensated for bars of gold, you have to file a support ticket with Rockstar. So if you are affected by this daily challenge streak bug and you were doing it every single day like myself and others, and you want the gold back or to be compensated with some bars of gold, I guess the best thing for you to do is go to Rockstar Support, file a ticket, and let them know. And hopefully they will compensate you for your bars of gold that you did not get. Next is fixed an issue that resulted in bounty hunter missions not paying the correct awards. Apollyon, myself, a few others also had this problem. And I would like to believe that we would also get uh, compensated for the uh, money. But who knows when it comes to that problem. Hopefully the bounty hunter missions issue and the uh, daily challenge streak issues have been resolved by this patch update. Various stability fixes, various localization text fixes have also been done. There's also some problems that myself, Archangel, and Apollyon have a, a witnessed with our characters logging in missing clothing or like a whole bunch of pieces of clothing. Like we log in and like, oh, I'm just wearing a poncho. Where's my boots? <laughs> That's happened to a few of us already. So with each update, with each patch, there's other interesting problems that occur. And uh, just like with Fat and a few others, including myself, the camp uh, is continuing to pitch on its own, and it's difficult to get it back up. You respawn several times, you jump lobbies, eventually it works, but that's another issue hopefully Rockstar's working to resolve. Most of this we already went over, but I didn't go over the collectible list for the week because it was kind of hidden in the event week newswire. And uh, this is what you do for all the collectors out there. Turn in the Santa Denis collection to Madame Nazar at any post office by September 30th. Uh, you're going to need cognac, uh, see the Bellu diamond ring, the Bouchine uh, ruby earrings, and if I mispronounce those, what else is new? So find those three items, uh, and you can uh, turn that weekly collection in to the post office by September 30th, and you'll get yourself a nice reward. And all the items that we went over are permanent clothing items. There's a few that I missed like some male-only and female-only clothing items. So if you have a male or female character, you may want to also check those items out, like the Shafton shirt, almost shirt for male characters, the Herta shirt waist, as well as the Winsford shirt waist, and the Haley skirt for female characters. And there's a few other new variations and patterns for some of the bandanas. So lots of new clothing items, the weekly collectible list, along with uh, the uh, fixes and patch notes, for update 1.13. Hopefully it will make the game a little bit better, but there's still other problems that the game obviously has, like uh, disconnects, game crashes, etc. Once again, the Rockstar Support Newswire, as well as the Event Week Newswire, both linked below in the description section.